What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here and uh, I'm going to keep you guys up to date with this Lizard Squad fiasco. I want you guys to know the latest on what's going on with this hacker group and what we can expect with the PlayStation and Xbox networks. Now from what I understand the Xbox network is up right now so you guys let me know in the comments if that's true. PlayStation's network is actually still down and broken. One of the members of the Lizard Squad actually did an interview. It's a pretty long interview so I'm going to paraphrase it and I'll let you guys know pretty much what this guy was talking about. Now the guy in question, his name is Vinny Omari, and uh, that's an alias, obviously, because he's a hacker. They're not going to give you their real names. But this uh, this interview was given to the Daily Dot, so it's a reputable news source, and they were actually able to verify this is actually a member of the Lizard Squad. Vinny Omari was still a bit drunk when he initiated what could be the biggest distributed denial of service attack in history. He woke up around 1 p.m. Christmas Day. He told me reeling from a long night of getting shit-faced to celebrate his 22nd birthday. He quickly ate Christmas dinner and sat down at his computer. It was going to be a long day. Omari and his friends were going to ruin the holiday for console gamers the world over by taking down Xbox Live and PlayStation Network services. The attack worked. It was a complete worldwide outage. No one was able to connect to the online services of Xbox or PlayStation. The attacks eventually paused after Omari and his friends received mega privacy vouchers from multi-millionaire investor and mega founder Kim.com, vouchers that could quickly be sold to an underground black market. The hackers claim the vouchers are worth $300,000. Soon after they received the vouchers and Kim.com claimed to have stopped the hack, Lizard Squad started the attack again. They tweeted about it incessantly. There was one question on the mind of every gamer this Christmas. Why? Why would anyone want to ruin Christmas by taking down these gaming networks? The simplest explanation Lizard Squad told me was that they did it for the lulls. The group also said they wanted to exploit the incompetence of Microsoft and Sony and to prove that anyone who promised to stop them was a liar. So they're talking about the finest squad. They wanted to prove they were liars and they did this shit for the laughs. These guys, man, what a piece of work. The attacks continue. Today the group is claiming responsibility for an attack on TOR, the anonymous internet service. Next up, Omari claims the Lizard Squad will invade the mainstream media, taking interview appearances on BBC and Radio 1 and CNN Tonight. So, these guys are moving forward with their hacks. When they get caught, they're going to wish they never did this shit. That's just pretty much the way I see it. You can't do something this big and keep doing it. There's people who go to work 8 hours a day, 10 hours a day just to find out what you're doing, who you are, where you are. So they, they, they're going to get caught. They're not the only people in the world who know how to do what they're doing. They're gonna, somebody's going to make a mistake. When they make a mistake, all this dumb shit's going to be over. And I think that they need to make an example out of these guys. They need to give them the maximum limit of what the law allows for, for them in a conviction of something this magnitude. It affects so many people, millions of people worldwide. They're taking down, you know, they took out the internet in Korea. These guys are dickheads, for real. Um, it's just frustrating. It's kind of sad to see. It's it's a it's a solemn realization for me, and I know millions of you guys to be on vacation this time of year, to have these days off and be able to relax with your family, and not be able to play some of these awesome games because of these guys who figure it's it's a cute thing to do to screw up everybody's Christmas. I wanted to keep you guys up to date with these these clowns. There's a link in the description for the full interview on the Daily Dot. Uh, and you guys can click on that and check it out and read it for yourself. Be sure to comment below. Let me know what you think. Keep me up to date what's going on out there, too. If you guys hear.